video, I'm going to work out an individual limit problem. It's going to be a straightforward limit that would be found in a Calc 1 class. As with all limits, the first thing that they always teach you or suggest that you do is try a direct substitution and see where that gets you. Because if that works and provides you with an answer, then you are done and you don't have to go any farther. So that's the first step we're going to do here. We're going to create um, and do our direct substitution. So this is the limit as x approaches 3, which means I'm going to plug 3 in for my x. As soon as I do that direct substitution, my next line of work no longer has the limit notation with it. Once you go to that direct substitution, then the limit notation is dropped. So then I'm going to have the sine of pi times 3 all over 3. All right, and then from there, I can see that those 3s are going to cross out. That's going to leave me with just the sine of pi, and I can calculate the sine of pi as 0. So this limit is 0. So this one definitely turned out to be a very, very simple one. Direct substitution worked. All right, plug it in, see what you can come up with then, and then calculate from there. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications on. Thanks.